CATB right now. We've not taken a look at this one before from our record. So uh, it's all, always good to go through new uh, stocks with that. So uh, CATB currently traded at 226. We started looking at this one at 224. Uh, obviously, once Joe takes over, he can kind of tell us what happened here, maybe, uh, depending on if you know bad news came out or whatever. But we'll talk about that here in a second. So anyways, let me point out something here. You guys had this big drop. I mean, you guys just total drop down um, from a close at 404, and the next day you opened at $1.28. That is a massive, massive drop off. Uh, but looking back into the chart here, uh, I, I need to point this out here. I, I need to go back to uh, 2015 over here where this chart just started this company or whatever. Uh, I'm just paying attention to the chart. So anyways, look at this area. There's no trading in this area. Nothing there at all. Okay. That is very, very, very important because it brings you into right here and exactly why you see a 71% gain on a stock that's at $2.28. Okay, because yes, it can go up to two, three dollars and twenty nine cents with not much resistance at all. Although there is going to be a small resistance line because that's where it topped out today at two dollars and seventy six cents. So there is going to be a small resistance there. Nothing too big, uh, nothing too big at all. Um, right now, two twenty nine. You can call that small resistance, and then two two seventy six, maybe a medium resistance, but your more high resistance level is going to be at 329. I like it. I, I do. I think that the potential for it to return to 329 is extremely high right now, in my personal opinion. And the chart is even bullish. Also, put this one on your watch list. I think that uh, it's it's got it's got potential here. There is a gap down here. I will mark down between $1.55 and 32, but I personally don't think it matters. And the reason why it, I don't, I, I mean, it sounds like I'm going against my words on gaps, but I'm not. It's because, again, looking back in the past here, there's no trading between that area. So if there's no trading in the area, yes, it can gap that. Make sure you understand that. Right. So uh, I see where it fell like that. It was uh, on February 2nd. There was a press release. It was a shareholder alert from Levi and Karinsky, LLP. They announced the commencement of an investigation involving possible securities fraud violations by the board of directors at Catalyst Basis Pharmaceuticals Incorporated. So one thing I know we've gone over so many different things like this, and a lot of times I'll cack shit because these guys will just put up something like this and not even explain why. But these guys actually did. So, you know, kudos to that. So I wrote that on January 19, 2017, Catalyst Basis issued positive statements about its phase one trials for Ido Selunexin, stating that the results supported the continued development of the treatment for the, the treatment of Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Then on January 31st, 2017, Catalyst Basis announced disappointing results of its mid-stage clinical trial, noting that the study failed to meet its primary endpoint. Following this news, shares of Catablasis fell from a close of $4.04 .04 per share on January 31st, 2017 to a dollar 18 per share the following day so that was that right there so they actually gave you the reason for it you know which is a plus because a lot of times these guys will put these things out there and you have to you have no idea what the heck's going on so um their latest news was on march 2nd and it was catabasis pharmaceuticals to report fourth quarter on full year 2016 financial results and recent corporate developments on thursday march 16th so that's something to look forward to. Uh, it's got all the information right there So within that press release. So if you're interested in learning more about the company, right over to the CATB board over there on Investors Hangout and pull up this recent news. You'll see the recent news. Go right there to the March 2nd, and you'll see the uh, call and information and whatnot. Uh, and also, if you would like to research the company due diligence-wise, you go right into their filings, their financials, the company profile. And if you have an opinion on the company, feel free to share it with the tens of thousands of like-minded investors that are using the site daily by posting over there on the CATB board on Investor Sign. All right, there you go with the chart. Uh, again, with this 221 is when we first started looking at it, and that's why I put that on there because, I mean, there's times that we'll look at these stocks and just start moving while we're looking at them, but uh, Fear and Square put the, put the uh, number in there is when we start looking at it. So again, $2.21, watch my opinion chart setup, uh, technical analysis alert, resistance, uh, 276, 329, support at $1.55. 
gap at dollar 55 and dollar 32 so watch this one uh really does have the potential to return back to that level so we keep an eye on it uh, if you follow the stock make sure you hit that like and subscribe button we'd appreciate it very much uh if you have a hot stock you would like to share head over to investorshangout.com forward slash live you let us know there we'll take your hot stock and add it to the list